Hey there, my name is Benson, and right now I'm going to do my best to explain to you the difference between waterproofing technologies for a lot of different snowboarding, outerwear garments, like jackets and pants. We don't have any pants right now, but we're going to look at some jackets. Um, the two main features that you're going to look at when checking out new outerwear is waterproofing and breathability. These are usually um, denoted in terms as millimeters or gram meters, so it'll say 10,000 mm or 10,000 GM. Um, these are just different ratings for how waterproof your garment is. So when you're out there looking at your jacket and you see you know, the little hang tags that explain what's on the jacket and you see something that says 10,000 waterproofing, 10,000 breathability, what that means is that if you were to take a cylinder of water that's one centimeter square and stack it up 10,000 millimeters high, it would not penetrate your coat. So if you have a jacket that's 30,000 mm, that means you can have a cylinder that's 30,000 millimeters high. What that means is it provides a lot more waterproofing for when you're out there riding. Now, most pressure generated when you're just maybe sitting on the lift is about 5,000 uh, millimeters. So if you can think about the type of pressure that is forced onto the outerwear when you're sitting and relate that to how much water can be stacked up whether it's 10,000 mm, whether it's 20,000 mm. Um, that just shows you how waterproof it is. So a jacket like this, which is the Bond jacket, um, it's 10,000 waterproofing. That means it's gonna be fairly waterproof for most any condition you're in. Now there's other materials like Gore-Tex put into other jackets, like the Burton AK line is their highest end line, and they rate their jackets at about 30,000 for Gore-Tex material. So the higher number will be a lot more waterproof as well as allowing vapors from inside your warm body to escape. That way you're not sweating on the inside of your jacket, but you're not getting wet from the outside. So two things to keep in mind when looking at that jacket, waterproofing, breathability, if it's got a higher number, you're gonna stay drier a lot longer, but it also means it's gonna be a little bit more. So something to think about when you're searching for some new outerwear. So we hope that helps as always. Call Tactics. If you need help with anything, check out the website, tactics.com, and happy snowboarding.